Hello ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Spartan. Today we're taking a look at a new game, brand new game on Steam called Force of Nature. It is a sandbox survival game, uh, much like Seven Days to Die, which is what you'll see on my channel here. Thought I'd change it up a bit. Uh, I did play through this game for about an hour earlier today just to see what it was all about, get a feel for the game. And it uh, seems like a pretty cool game, you know, I, it's still uh, maybe under develop, development a bit, and I think it needs a, a little more work. Uh, but it is only $8, so uh, certainly get your money's worth, uh, as I probably already have in that first hour. And, uh, you know, looking at what lies ahead, there's a lot of crafting and building. So let's get on in here. We're going to call this uh, seed, we'll call it Force. How about that? And a lot of cool aspects of the game. Uh, the only drawback that I really see now is just that there's no, uh, you can't adjust the camera view on it. Uh, you're kind of stuck with a top-down view. I do like top-down games uh, similar to, uh, well, let's say like Diablo 3 and games like that. Uh, reminds me of uh, maybe Grim Dawn. But this is kind of like, a, gosh, I, I, the, the game came to mind earlier that I was playing uh uh, a few months ago, and I, and I thought of that game when I loaded this up. Uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, we're going to give it a go. We're going to see, uh, you know, kind of what it's like to start out on the game. And uh, it was a little confusing at first for the first five minutes or so. I think I would tell everyone to give this game at least an hour uh, before you give up on it, you know, decide that it's not the game for you. Uh, because it did take me just a little while to kind of figure a few things out. So let's see. So there's a ruby chip. We'll pick that up. So when I first started playing, I was like, oh, you can't turn your character around? What? But uh, what it is, is you can after you close your inventory here. It's telling me to look around for things such as palm leaves and splinters. So you can hold down space bar and do it this way or what I learned in the game uh, while I was playing through earlier is that like when this happens I can just press control and it'll pick up anything that's close by. There's some strawberries here. Stick and a splinter. You can also kick these to get some palm branches. Don't know how many kicks it actually takes to uh, take one of these bad boys out, but what we're going to do here in a little while is we're going to uh, make ourselves an axe. Let's see if we can get some of those bananas to fall. Oh, there we go. So you can get some bananas by kicking the tree. I think we picked one up. Let's look at our inventory. Yeah, we sure do. We have two, two bananas now. So you do have a stamina bar on here, and oh, there's another one right there. Some lying on the ground. Splinter. All right. So we have some sunflower here. You can take these things out with an axe, eventually get the seeds, and they will give you a bit of stamina as you're uh, hacking at something with the uh, axe. One thing I noticed is that pretty much all the movements take a lot of stamina, so you really do have to uh, kind of manage, uh, manage that. Maybe they will balance it uh, just a bit more uh, down the road. Uh, as for now, you know, it kind of is what it is. Uh, but uh, it takes a lot of stamina to say swing an axe and, uh, and that sort of thing. So first thing we want to do is we want to look at our quest log here and see what it has us do. Uh, what I noticed earlier is that it does teach you the basics just by following through with the uh, quest line. Nice, there's some boulders to mine right there. Much like we have in our uh, seven days to die. Try to pick up as much food as I can. So let's take a look here at our quest. Craft a rope. All right. We will do that. So we'll bring up our crafting menu here with C, or you could click here. 
click on rope. Nice, well, that doesn't take too long. All right, now we need to craft a stone knife. We picked up some. Oh yeah, we need to take the rope out of our crafting menus, what we need to do. Now we can do that. Pow. Click on take all. And let's see what's next for our quest. By doing the quest, you get uh, levels. You know, you move up in level. So we need to make a bonfire. And let's see what we need to build that with. Okay, so we have to go to the build menu for this. Bonfire. We need some more sticks. So let's go get ourselves uh, some more sticks. I actually just need one more. So there it is right there. This looks like a perfect place to settle down. I keep trying to scroll back with the mouse so I can see directly in front of me. Uh, I think maybe part of the reasoning behind that is that it makes it a little more difficult that you can't see what's far off in the distance because there are bears and wolves and goblins and things like that on the game. So uh, there's an aggro radius on there. It's basically a screen wide. So let's go ahead and get this uh, bonfire built and placed. We'll put it uh, somewhere close to the stone. That way we can see at nighttime to uh, mine that stone. So you see the percentage here of it going up. Nice. Let's take a look at our quest here again. Get a new level. So every level you uh, move up, you get new recipes and uh, makes your character stronger. So let's go here to characteristics. Click on next level. And we need one more rope to get that next level. So let's do that. Let's craft ourselves another rope. Well, it crafts a lot faster with the knife. Nice. Okay, characteristic. Oh, we didn't take our rope out. Okay, I have to get used to doing that. Take all. Give me that level. Nice. So we need to create a glowing ember, craft a digging stick, and it wants us to craft a stone axe, a stone pick, and collect some uh, logs and stone. So, let's see, I guess, let's see what we can make here. So it's nighttime. Good thing about nighttime is it doesn't stay night for long. Uh, it's, uh, it passes by very quickly. It's not like seven days to die where, you know, you're stuck for a long time at night. So we'll go ahead and put the uh, coconut on our bar as well. That gives us stamina. Bananas give us stamina. We need something that gives us health. Okay, the strawberries give us health. So we have some seeds. Eventually we can make ourselves a storage chest and kind of throw those things in there. So we're going to take our digging stick. And we're going to need to dig up some resources, uh, soil, and I think that might come in a later point. So there we go. What was that that we picked up? We picked up soil. Okay. So kind of like Seven Days to Die where you see the uh, different colored soil and uh, you're going to get whatever it is that you're digging into. I think this is clay. Let's see if we can get some clay out of it. Clay, and of course the sand is over on the beach right there. Give us now, that just gave us soil, so we need to move to a new location. So it looks like the sun is starting to come back up. See, it doesn't take very long for the uh, night to pass by. Kind of like that, because, uh, you know, it's so hard to see. I think eventually, you know, you can make uh, 
I don't, there's some clay. I don't know if you can make mobile torches. Maybe you can. I have just with this uh, short time that I made it through uh, that hour or 45 minutes or whatever it was that I played, you know, I didn't get a long ways. I did make one torch for my base uh, right around the campfire area there. But uh, so you can see there are plenty of sunflowers there for the seed. And what I did notice is I had some of those and I was in combat and I was able to. Uh, just spam those sunflower seeds and it gets your stamina back real fast. Matter of fact, let's do that here real quick and show you how quickly I can gain that back. Stamina moves slow, slow, slow. It's a slow regen, but uh, with the right things, uh, I'm sure the health is the same way. Uh, of course, right now all I have are strawberries and some things like that, but eventually, uh, you know, you can make a cooking pot and, uh, but I encourage you to, maybe even before you watch this playthrough to go watch the trailer on steam for force of nature and uh, give you an idea of all the things you can do you know there's farming with uh, animals and you know cows and goats and all kinds of stuff chickens and so there's a lot to the game there's a lot to it it's uh certainly do believe you're going to get your uh, your money's worth out of this one and I hope they continue developing it. Uh, there's nothing that said that they would or they wouldn't. Uh, but I did notice that uh, one of the notes underneath the video said that something had been patched as of uh, yesterday. So they are still working on it and trying to fix some issues. And So let's take a look here at our quest. We need to create glowing embers. So we need to get some more sticks. We need to make ourselves. So we have to get... Uh, one more soil and five sand. That's easy enough. Uh, more tools. Let's see what it takes to make a stone axe because that's going to be very important for us to, uh, to get that going. So we need a rope. All right. Let's get the old rope going. Get ourselves a stone axe. We know all about this. Mm, spend plenty of time with a stone axe on seven days. So let's see here what we can do. We can go ahead and start digging up the uh, sand that we need. Just need a few of those, five to be exact. Stone axe completed. Right. Get a little bit of soil here. Should be all of that that we need. Yep, mining sand clay and oil. So we're gonna take this. Why can't I let's cancel that? Take all and put this on our belt for easy access. And let's go out and cut some stuff down. Uh, so we need plenty of this to make rope with. Should take about three or four wax to get this down. There we go. May as well go ahead and cut down a tree or two. And I tell you another thing I'm gonna do. Look at all of that. So we get some logs. And a palm leaf. Is I'm going to go get some sunflower seed to keep that stamina uh, up as high as I can get it. Watch how much it goes down just per swing. It goes down so much. Don't really know that you do more damage if your stamina is higher like some games. Uh, but it is certainly a pain when you run out because you can't do anything. You, know, you can't swing and... Uh, especially if you get attack, attacked by a wolf or a bear or a goblin or something, uh, you can't swing your, your club at them. So there we go. Only takes a couple hits. Take a few more of these out. Right. So 
should be able to keep continue spamming those while cutting these down. Don't know. I would imagine you can probably grow these as well as eat them. Uh, right now, they're my best source of stamina uh, because I can just spam those. It only takes a couple seconds for the uh, little food meter to go away so I can just eat one after another and you see how much they're uh, affecting my stamina in a positive way. But I do need to clear out some of these. Let's see if there are any bushes. Oh, we'll find some bushes somewhere. We'll make ourselves a, a pickaxe as well. I'm gonna take this bush out to get some sticks. There we go, nice. A little auto save action. <clears throat> and if you press control quickly enough right after you destroy an object, you can grab all of the uh, resources before they scatter about on the ground. Nice. So we want to get plenty of sticks and plenty of uh, palm branches. Those are going to be our main uh, items here to start out with for making rope. Uh, we're going to need the palm branches because it's asking us to make uh, embers in the fire. So we need to pop those into that fire. And I uh, don't want to venture off too far because I don't have a, a club yet. And there are goblins that walk about that uh, have weapons. Uh, they will uh, attack you. Uh, they don't do a terrible amount of damage for the level that they are here, but uh, they can gang up on you pretty quickly, especially if they're bears and wolves that you encounter at the same time. So that was a quick 100 sunflower seed. It's about to be nighttime again. We spent our first day, and as far as I can tell, there's no real uh, counter for days or whatever. So, uh, but there is a map. There is a map right here, and so that uh, certainly helps to keep your bearings. Let's see if it shows. Yeah, it does show your marker for where your campfire is on the map. Is a, a little red dot. Of course, I'm standing over it now, but. Uh, all right, so we need to make some more rope for sure. Absolutely need that. Let's see how many we could make. We'll go ahead and make 10 of those. And then take a look at quest log, create glowing ember. So we need to take some of these. Boy, I have 73 stick. So we need to click on the bonfire. I'm going to get closer to it. Uh, and there's a new recipe and you keep unlocking more, but uh, uh, like there's a workbench and there's a forge and an anvil and all of those have their own uh, menu, drop down menus for things that you can craft. So we're going to create some glowing embers and I know now just from the earlier playthrough, uh, we're going to need a bunch. So we'll go ahead and cre create 30 of those, have those on standby. Right. Take all of our rope, and we're gonna make a stone pick. Just need one of those. Once we get that, we can get. Uh, to mining some of the stone and iron that you see uh, in front of us here. Put this stone pick on my bar. And we need to make, oh, we don't have that available yet. So let's take a look at the quest line. 
see what it is that we're almost 100% on the ember. I don't know how many it asked us to create. Nine. Okay, so just a couple more moments here. We can go ahead and while we're waiting on that and uh, start picking away at this because we are going to need this. Eventually we'll get a forge and we'll forge some of this into uh, iron ingots. Nice, all right. Good yield off of that. Mr. Bunny Rabbit, I don't know what you think you're doing, but once I get a weapon, you're in trouble. You're gonna be cooking on that bonfire over there. Now the rabbits are actually really hard to kill. Uh, they're pretty fast. Once you hit them one time, it takes like three or four hits to kill one. Uh, I didn't actually kill one before when I was playing. I, uh, I think you need a bow, uh, maybe, to kill those. So uh, didn't quite make it that far. Uh, just wanted to kind of get in and familiarize myself with controls, and then I realized I said, "Hey, you know, there's." I looked something up, and there was no information on YouTube or Google about it. So I thought, "Hey, why don't I do a playthrough? Because maybe there's someone out there, you know, that that bought the game and they have a question too." And We'll all work together as a little community and figure things out. All right, so let's take a look here. The glowing ember. So we have six. We just need these three more. About five seconds. All right. Here we go, 95%. Wow. Quest complete. So let's take a look at that. More tools. We need logs. So let's go out and cut down a couple trees. Won't take us long to, uh, to do that. Matter of fact, there's a tree right there. Uh, everything is, uh, you can manipulate everything in the environment too. I noticed that all the bushes and the trees and everything you see around here, you can take that out. You, know, you can clear a very large area uh, and you eventually need to. Uh, in order to, you know, make a house, build a house and make a farm and a garden. But I'm really pleased when these indie games come out, uh, much like Seven Days to Die. They're not these mainstream games that cost $60, uh, and you get a lot of playtime out of them. I mean, uh, Seven Days to Die, I think, is normally about $25. And gosh, you know, I've put in uh, almost 2,500 hours on it now. And so the same with a game like this is $8. I mean, I'm probably going to get more playtime out of this than I would a lot of games uh, that I've played before that I paid 50 or $60 for. So I'll certainly play it to the point to where I have a base, you know, a, a house. Uh, you have to defend yourselves, uh, yourself against the uh, goblins. Looks like they come in uh, waves and like similar to a horde at certain points in the game and try to destroy your stuff, kill your livestock. And uh, so I certainly want to get to that uh, point. Uh, many different biomes that you can go into. I know on the preview video they show like a teleporter that you can go into that takes you to a different biome, but... Uh, there's snow biomes and different things, so we should have enough logs. Let's check and see what it says. Yep, get new level, so let's do that. Let's click on characteristics. What am I missing here? Let's scroll down and see what I'm missing. Sand, so I need five more sands. So we'll take our digging stick. We'll go over here to the beach. Take a look and make sure I'm going the right direction. Walk over here to the beach and get ourselves some sand. It's kind of promising, games like this. 
I know I looked at about, I think, 10 or 12 games that are coming out in 2017, survival games, and there were really none in there that uh, sparked my interest. So uh, it's really promising to see a game like this come out and, uh, you know, gives you hope that they are, there are still people working on, uh, on survival games that kind of break new ground. Not a lot of games out there like Seven Days to Die where the terrain, everything can be manipulated. And uh, nice, level three. So let's see, our next level, we need to build a blast furnace and get an iron ingot. Uh, we also need to get uh, go into combat with some of the goblins and get some copper coins and gold coins. So that's going to be something, uh, the first battle... Create a coal smoker and get some coal. So let's take a look at what we need to get that coal smoker. We need some more clay and some more sand. So let's run right back up here while we're here. Grab ourselves a bit more sand. Looks like we need about uh, 13 more. don't remember that first playthrough. I don't remember it raining at all. And uh, I was, I lost my train of th thought there. Let's see how many we have collected. 13, so we just need a couple more of those. All right. So, coal smoker, take one more glance at it. I know we need uh, clay. All right, so let's go do that. Let's go grab some clay from right up here. can never have enough clay on this or uh, most games like this that you have a forge. You need lots of clay. So let's click on it now and select it and find a place to place it down. We'll probably place it somewhere near our fire here. Don't want to spread things out too much. Let's see the speed of that. Oh yeah, so it'll be done here in just a moment. Uh, so the other thing to get the level is we have to have our first battle. Uh, and that's going to be tricky. I need to see. I think we can create. So there we go. Coal smoker. And we need 20 coal. So we'll take. Let's see how we get that. Glowing ember and logs. Let's see how many we can get. We can only do... 20 right now because oh yeah well here we have some glowing embers so take all those and do another oh yeah we have to wait for that to uh, craft so I don't have I don't have a torch created yet see it's very very dark I'm sure if I can't see it, you can't see on the video either uh, but uh, we're going to go out here and cut this tree down because I can see just well enough right now to take this tree out. Like I said, once again, the darkness is not uh, doesn't affect you too much because it's only dark for a very short period of time. And uh, not like a lot of other games where you know it's dark for just uh, 15 minutes real time. It's just a short, short time. All right, make sure we didn't miss anything. No, we didn't. Okay. So we should be able to... Fifty percent. That's moving along slowly. That's all of our ember. While we're doing that, because we're going to need to make an iron ingot, we may as well go ahead and chop a few more of these, uh, hack a few more of these boulders.
Let's go ahead and spam some of these sunflower seed. Get our stamina back up. Right, should be enough of that. 99, there we go, take five of those. Okay, let's cancel and see if we can't do 15 all at one time. Yeah, we sure can. So I think we only need 20. Let's take a look at that, make sure, yep, yep, we only need 20. So uh, let's look at our crafting menu here. We can make a stone mace. And that's what we're going to do. I think the damage on this is 20 and it's only 15 on the other weapon you can craft. Cudgel, let's see. Yeah, 15. All right. So we'll make that. Then we'll go out and uh, we'll hunt ourselves some goblins. And I'll show you what that's like. See if we can't take some of these, uh, some of these goblins out and take their money. My guess is because goblins are typically in most games like Clash of Clans or, you know, a lot of games, uh, they're attracted to gold. So I'm, my guess is if you take enough gold from them and, and copper and stash it away in chest around your base, they're going to come uh, try to take that. And uh, that may be, in fact, I, I don't know that. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just a guess. But uh, based on the video that I watched on Steam, it looks like they do come in hordes to attack your base and uh, I did have like a little branch hut set up on the first playthrough when I was just getting a feel for the game and what it was like um, and I never saw any goblins come at the base so let me take a look at the map we will go this direction we may have to chop down some trees or something to open up our path to get over to where they're at but that's okay because we need the resources anyway. Go ahead and get it in hand because you stumble across those guys, they come at you. There's some coffee. Have to be a little cautious. Oh, there's a goblin right there. All right. All right. He saw me. I don't know if he has a way to get over here or not. Oh, yeah, he sure does. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's three goblins. Not good. Not good. Not good. So we got a little gold coin from that one. So they do a decent amount of damage. You know, my health is already half gone. And uh, there's just three goblins there. So we're going to eat a few more strawberries try to get that back up let's take a look at this one more time make sure you have strawberries give health and the bananas give stamina coconut gives stamina so let's eat another one of those there's chicken but we can't do anything with that chicken I'll show you if I can run up now he's gonna be too fast it takes a few hits to kill them. So here, this one's seen me. There's two of them. All right, come on over here, buddy. Leave your other friend behind. Nice. All right. So just uh, two shots to kill him. Let's see if this guy's the same. Yep, yeah, sure is. So we're going to eat another strawberry. We need to get our stamina back up just kind of easing along here because a bear uh, we're, we're very low level and a bear would probably take us out at this point so there's two more guys right there it's actually three all right we only pull two all right come here buddy got something for you Oh, he's tougher. Nice. 
So I'm going to need to look into maybe getting some food. There's a rooster. Getting some other food that gives us health. I don't think this gives you anything. I think this is maybe a reagent. Yeah, that takes health away from me. Okay. Oh, here are some things right there. There's a goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. There's a cow. Two cows. Ooh, and a fox. And a goblin. So eventually, we can make ourselves some traps. Uh, we can tame those animals and make ourselves a farm. You know, of course, get milk from the cows and eggs from the chicken and all that good stuff. Let me take a look at this stuff here in the inventory. So that gives us 10 health. We'll throw that on the bar. So it's by nine. So we have more of those. We'll put those on the bar. I'm sure they can probably be used for some cooking recipe at some point. Uh, but for right now, we'll go with that. So how many coins do we have? So we don't have a lot. So we, there's a uh, sheep. So we need a good many more coins. Oh, there's some more goblins right there. Nice. Come here, Mr. Goblin. There you go. There's some apple trees. We're going to take those apple trees down and get ourselves some apples. It's going to be getting dark here pretty soon, too. The day-night cycle goes uh, pretty fast. Go ahead and get this tree out of the way and take these apple trees down. So I think apples are good for health and stamina, if I'm not mistaken. I'll tell you here in just a moment, and then we're going to have to figure out how to get back in the dark. A little bit lost in the woods. All right, let's see if we can find our way real fast before. Oh, not good. See, this is the tricky thing about nighttime is uh, you can't see what you're running into. You can see them on the map. There's something red right up there, and it's kind of big. Maybe a bear or another goblin. Not sure, but I'm going to try to wander back through the woods here. See if I can find my way. Of course, we can. Let me get my axe out. I can cut these bushes. Uh, don't know if you can see what I'm doing here or not. It's really kind of difficult for me to see, even, but uh, I can't see the little things that are blocking my uh, path. May almost be uh, safer for us just to chop some trees right here. Maybe um, mine these boulders until it is uh, daytime again because that's only going to be a few moments. All right, so we've create, uh, completed that quest with creating some coal. I am out of stamina. Let's get that boosted back up real quick here. So pretty slow progress, much like seven days to die. You know, it takes a while to just get anything, your basic resources, basic tools. It's not something that uh, happens quickly. Okay, now it is daytime. So our base is directly in front of us. So we could really cut a path. Now I don't know what effect that might have on the goblins being able to come directly at us, whereas now they're sort of blocked off by a natural barrier. Uh, so if we cut a path here, they're going to have a direct path to our base. But I'm going to do it anyway, uh, make it easier. 
especially now that I know all of these animals are over here. We're eventually going to make ourselves some, uh, some traps. We're going to try to tame those animals. And might as well drop this tree, these two trees down and get these sunflowers as well because we're almost out of sunflower seed for our stamina. Matter of fact, I'm going to eat a banana. There's a lot of these out here. My guess is that you can eventually plant the sunflower seed just like all the other seed that we're getting and maybe even cook something out of them to uh, get a bigger boost than the two stamina that you get, that you get now just from eating the, uh, the seed. All right, so we kind of chopped a path back to our base here. Take out these last couple so we don't get hung up on those. If it does uh, become dark and uh, we can't see our way around. So I'm going to go over here and get these. Oh, that's coffee. I thought that was uh, strawberry. That's all right. So make it back over here. We did not accomplish our goal of, I think, 15 and 15 for the gold coins. We did accomplish the... All right, so now it says to build a blast furnace and get an iron ingot. So let's take a look at what it would take to make a blast furnace. So you need a little bit more clay, three clay and five sand. Simple enough. One, two, and three. So we're going to go over here and get ourselves some sand. Strawberries, we need those. Okay, so I think, unless I looked at it wrong, we should have everything that we need to create the blast furnace. Yes, we do. Okay. Nice. So we will put it down right here. You can always move these. I did notice there was a move feature. So it doesn't really matter where we put it now. I'm going to give it a little bit of spacing here. We'll put that right there. And let's see. It's moving along yeah. quickly, quickly enough that we can go out and see if we can hunt ourselves some more goblins. And I think I'll take that same path that we came through before. I guess I could have done a better job of cutting a straight path. Some more strawberries, we'll take that. All right, let's get our, there's one right there. Come here, buddy. Oh, he ran away. Is he stuck? Oh, you're stuck, look at you. Mmm, give me that gold coin. All right. Wonder how fast that sheep is gonna be. Now he's pretty fast, so no, uh, no getting him over. So we did get some apples. They give health and stamina. So we're going to replace the strawberries with the uh, apples. I'm actually going to cut this tree down so we didn't have time uh, to cut these last two or three down before we had to run back. It was nighttime. It was dark. 
So our blast furnace has been completed. When we go back, we should have that uh, feature in our base. But I absolutely do um, feel like you will get your money's worth out of this game. I really feel like they're going to continue making it better. And, uh, you know, even as it is right now, I will get much more than $8 worth out of this game. You know, I'll be playing this for a while off and on. It'll be a nice little break from Seven Days to Die. i uh, always kind of looking for something. i played a lot of survival games. I've played Ark. Uh, the Forest, Rust, um, gosh, can't think of any other names of survival games that I've played, but uh, I guess you could, you know, consider Craft the World or Terraria, some of those uh, survival as well. But played a lot of those games and uh, kind of tired of most of them. Uh, the only one that I go back to regularly is Seven Days to Die. Uh, but this will be a nice little break, nice little breather. Craft the World is another good game, and I, I see that they just released an expansion for it, or not an expansion, but some download content. So I may go back and check that out again. Uh, Craft the World is another one worth looking at. I do believe that that's a $20 or $25 game, maybe. So it's not quite as inexpensive as this one's. Maybe a little bit more complete game than this one, but uh, worth checking out seeing if it's something that you'd be uh, interested in. Kind of like Terraria. Game kind of like Terraria. All right, so let's see. Let's take those. Anything that can give us help. So many uh, trees out here. So many. Oop, didn't mean to do that. So many apple trees. It's already 46 apples, so we should be able to pretty much take out anything we need to right now at, uh, that's our level, bear or wolf. There's a little pig over there, little Mr. Piggy. So it's getting dark again. We're going to kind of be stuck over here, I believe, for the night. I could make my way back over. We haven't gone that far. We're only able to get one goblin today. Go ahead and cut this uh, apple tree down. Before I end this episode, I want to go back over to the base and I want to check that uh, forge out for you. Let you see what that looks like and uh, maybe we get our first iron ingot going. Take a look at that as well. So let's look at our map. Looks like a pretty straight shot in the darkness to run back over. Now, if you are on the beach, uh, if you set your base up close to the beach, uh, it's really easy to see. There's there's nice light reflected off the water out there at nighttime. Uh, of course, in the jungle, it's uh, it's a bit difficult to kind of know where you're at, where you're going. Let's see if I can cut my way through here. All right. Don't know what I'm... Oh, there we go. I was going to say I don't know what I'm hitting on. I think it's a uh, tree should be down there. There's a little path that we cut. Easy enough to see that. Eventually, I will make some torches, and we'll set those torches up. So here we go. So there's our blast furnace, kind of what it looks like. We need to make ourselves an iron ingot. We have everything to do so except for the tool. We need a steel melting pot or just a regular melting pot. So let's do this. Click on the fire. We need uh, four more clay. Let's grab that real quick with our digging stick. Should be enough. It's 
still kind of getting the uh, hang of these controls here. So we'll make our melting pot. Boy, I have a lot of sticks. I think there's even a sort feature here. Everything's as sort as it's going to get. So I'm still short on gold coins and copper coins. Once we knock that out, find some more goblins, and they're everywhere, so there won't be a problem with that. Uh, but once we find some of those and knock that out, we go to next level and our next tier of crafting items. And I think the next tier uh, is maybe a, a hut and a storage chest and some things like that. So let's click on the blast furnace, recipes, iron ingot. Select the tool and click. We'll make four of those since we uh, since we can, and that's why I made the extra glowing embers earlier and that extra coal. I knew I would need that uh, stuff. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode. Uh, pretty cool little game. Uh, it's uh, certainly worth a look uh, on Steam there, and. Uh, I do believe that you will get your $8 worth out of it. I think I'm going to continue making some more episodes and uh, posting them to my channel so as to maybe help someone if they have a question as to how to do this or you know how to do that. Uh, they could come watch this playthrough and uh, maybe promote the game a little bit. Uh, some that may not know that the game exists and they'll see it on the channel here and uh, may encourage them to check it out themselves. But uh, thank you for watching. Everyone have a good day, and I will see you next time.